Mimi, I've got to be real with you. You've been working with me for seven months now and you haven't lost anything close to a pound. In fact, you put on 12. Are you sure you've been following the diet? Yeah. You've been counting calories? Yes, sir. Forging out your food? Every day. Even your coffee. Steven, I've been dedicating myself to your program for seven months. I have been doing everything to try and make you proud. Unfortunately, I think this is how my body meant to be which means i'm firing you what it's not working out sweetie maybe i'll rejoin if you make a diet plan that actually works 11 minutes earlier hello ma'am welcome to starbucks i would like a pumpkin spice cookie crumble macchiato okay pull i'm not done yet five pumps of caramel 15 pumps of chocolate double chocolate chips extra creamer and a few creamers on the side and make it a giga trenta <laughs> Calories, something that many people don't believe exists. And that's why the obesity rate is increasing year after year after year. And people are still wondering, why am I still fat? Well, the answer is right there in your pudgy little hands. That's right, liquid calories. High calorie, low in quality protein and low nutrient dense meals are a norm in America. And that's pretty sad because that's what it's called. The standard American diet, which is characterized by high amounts of processed foods, refined carbohydrates, and red meat. It's also typically low in fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Yes, everyone, welcome to America, where you got your freedom to eat however you want, and there's no limit, there's no rationing, there's not even a thought process. You just eat as much as you need to or want to. It's gotten so bad that there was laws made up to put calories on the menu to make people more aware with what and how much they were eating, but you know what we did? We came up with body positivity. Have you paid attention to yourself today? and shamed those calories on the menu. You're the problem. And so America is left wondering, how is the obesity rate skyrocketing in all areas of the country? So it's no wonder that many people are just unaware of the biggest culprit to the overconsumption of calories. And that comes in liquid form. This can be through olive oil, sauces. If you guys haven't noticed by now, I love ranch. Honey, agave, sodas, fruit juices, alcohol, and coffee. Many YouTubers that are having trouble losing weight all have this running theme whenever I watch their video. Liquid calories, and they love to drink a lot of it. The one that comes to mind that I rarely watch but I've made videos in the past is Amberlynn Reed. Oh my God, nice and cold. Just how I like it. And I say I barely watch her, not to diss her. I barely watch her because she eats very loud and I have something called misophonia. I don't like it. And on top of that, as she eats very loud, she talks with her mouth full. Talk about lack of table manner. But that's besides the point. Even though I could rant about it all day. People, take an etiquette class, please. It's disgusting. But when I've made videos about her in the past, when I needed B-roll and whatnot, I noticed the queen of girl world loves her liquid calorie. I ordered this from McDonald's and also got a Diet Coke. You are going to be obsessed. And then I have a large, there's my drink. Medium blue raspberry, like slushies, ices. I'm addicted. People are obsessed with drinking their body weight in sugar to the point where they now have a community. First, there was water talk. Now, there's coffee talk. One, two, three, I don't know who else to be. Four, five, six, like they say I can't be fixed. I don't have any favorite. Just give me any kind. Even if it hurts a bit, I think I will be fine. Coffee Talk is where coffee enthusiasts share their concoctions of coffee, adding sugar, the smallest amount of espresso, Dunkin' Donuts creamer, milk, foam, and even more sugar on top. And then sprinting it to their mama and saying, oh my gosh, I hope she likes it, while they wait on the edge of their seat for their mama to drink at least 40 grams of sugar. Are you doing good? Of course you do. It's filled with sugar. It's sweet. Of course it is. It's filled with sugar. I can feel the energy kicking in. That actually wasn't energy. It was her butthole saying, please get me to the bathroom now. It's Callie Pitts. Callie Pitts gave me the 
just like water talk, where people critique that their water is no longer water once you add the syrups, the stevias, the sugar, the honeys to it. Many people are critiquing coffee talk for no longer being coffee once you add all these other extras to it. A little coffee with that sugar? And then the person who is responding to this comment passively aggressively pours coffee in a cup, adds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, heaping scoops of sugar in about a half cup of coffee. So one tablespoon is 48 calories. So you times that by seven and that's 336 calories of just sugar. In each of those tablespoons, there's 13 grams of sugar. Multiply 13 times seven, 91 grams of sugar for breakfast. To put this in perspective for you guys, the recommended amount of added sugar daily is 25 grams for a woman. And she's not done. She's got to add the creamer, of course, because it's not creamer without coffee. I mean, it's not coffee without creamer. It's not coffee without creamer. <laughs> Well, you showed that commenter, you did it, you got it. The most viral coffee talk girly was Tina, who makes coffee for her husband every single morning as a gesture of love. And you know what? The husband loves it a lot. He likes his creamer. There's a running theme, right? Black coffee, out. Copious amounts of creamer, completely in, along with about 10 tablespoons of sugar. And she really adds a lot in there. And I mean really likes his creamer. Here's a hack. You could just put the straw in the bottle of creamer. I think he wouldn't even tell a difference. But if anybody wants the recipe to make a genuine Tina coffee, here you go. Fill the cup with barely any coffee. I'm talking less than a half cup. Maybe a half a cup. Don't listen to her. It's less than a half cup. Maybe a half cup means less. And now I want you to shake some creamer. No, I mean really shake it up. Come on, Tina. And then, it's important, just fill it all the way up. She's not done either. All right, coffee number two. She makes him this twice a day. I think she wants to off her husband with a slow D-E-A-T-H. This is just a theory. You know, Tina's very cute. She's very bubbly. She loves her husband. Say hi to the husband. But I'm not buying it. This is her master plan. Women who K-I-L-L, coffee edition. I see it now, late night television. Just kidding, I'm sure she drinks it too. So a lot of people gave her a very, very hard time with these videos. This went absolutely viral, but then Tina saw that this like thinner girl, the super cute blonde girly pop made coffee worse than her. Let's make some coffee. Coffee. Two pumps of this cream. Mocha and Tina decided, well, I ain't too bad then because hers is obviously worse. Now, I do not feel bad Vanilla using sir. that creamer at all in my husband's coffee. Yeah, coffee talk's a little bit of a weird place for me. They're very hyped up on sugar. They are really, really judgy and passive aggressive if you aren't making the drinks perfect, like the temperature isn't right. My biggest pet peeve is watching people make iced coffee wrong because they don't consider the temperature of things. She gets really irritated that the sugar won't melt if the temperature isn't right. You if you add your ice and your milk first, the sugar won't dissolve. Duh. Something else I learned is that instant coffee is also looked down upon. It's a huge no-no in this community. I really don't understand how y'all are out here drinking instant coffee like you're an 80-year-old girl. We have these seemingly nice tutorials of a woman that looks a lot like Lizzo. In my hand is the best cold brew you will ever have. But then she threatens to punch you in the face if you don't stop giving your money to Starbucks and make the coffee at home. Cause you gonna stop giving them people all your money for coffee. We got coffee at home. I think the weirdest one and the most frightening thing though is Trisha Paytas cosplaying as a Starbucks worker serving me coffee. You know what? I have a craving for coffee for some reason. What is this? I never drink coffee. Coffee people kind of freak me out. They always kind of have to drink it. But I think today, I'm going to try it out. And there's a Starbucks right there. What weird thing could possibly happen? It's a Starbucks. Hi there. Oh, hi. Congratulations, you have found the Starbucks Reserve here on TikTok. Starbucks Reserve is an elevated experience above Starbucks. Yes, even the brick and mortar Starbucks in the real world. Would you like the Trish special today? No, thank you. I just want a black coffee with a little bit of stevia. You can only get the Trish special today and today only. The next day will be a new special. Okay, fine. Now, cookie for breakfast. We are adults now, after all. <laughs> Bye, Trish! I feel like she was hitting on me. Offer me cookies, Les gave me a cup full of sugar. I'll come here every day now. Since we're on the topic of cookies, Trisha, we all know Trisha loves them. 
because of my last video, we all know she loves playing Starbucks workers from the Trisha universe, where they clearly have no dress code. Though it should be no surprise that she loves drinking high sugar concoctions with her fish stick. Hey TikTok, I'm making fish sticks but I'm also making iced coffee. And that is just a combination that I have never thought of, but man, is that so Trisha. Very on brand. You go girly, you eat those weird combinations. So something I learned as I am not a coffee drinker at all is they have a multitude of creamer flavors and Trisha gets Rice Krispies creamer, so this is delicious. I have to say, as someone who ate a lot of junk food back in the day, I have never thought of Rice Krispie treats and coffee together, but damn, is that very on brand once again for Trisha. And of course, America. So the theme, have you noticed the theme yet through all of these videos? Have you pinpointed it. Nobody measures anything. And it stays true with Trisha as she dumps it in her coffee. The creamer, it tastes like a Rice Krispie. Kind of like, kind of like a burnt marshmallow. That had to be about a half cup of pure creamer. I'm sorry, pure Rice Krispie Treat creamer. There's eight tablespoons in a half cup. One tablespoon of Rice Krispie Treat creamer is 35 calories and five grams of sugar. That's 280 calories and 40 grams of sugar just in a drink. Trisha! After that cookie video I made, and now this, I do not want to hear from those luscious lips. I just wish I was skinny. I just can't lose weight. Because. <laughs> Bye now. It's no secret that liquid calories probably is a huge reason why many people are overweight to severely obese, but then comes that time of year. The leaves turn colors. The air gets that nice, delicious, cool breeze. It smells better. No more funk smell since people still refuse to wear actual deodorant that works. And the bugs get descended back into hell where they belong. Yeah, you know the time. Oh. The bugs are gone, but the liquid calorie drinkers be acting a fool. But the cycle back. more chilly outside, people stop going to the gym, they start covering up more, they don't see their bodies as much, and they just, they don't see the gut. They start consuming more, it's cold outside, they just wanna drive up to their local Starbucks in their orange and black sweater and get a mostly sugar-filled drink and bundle up next to the fire and guess who partakes in this? Trisha! It has been a hot minute since I got excited about a Starbucks drink, but this pumpkin cookie crumble has been all over F4 APB, so I got in my car, I drove myself to Starbucks, and I'm gonna get this pumpkin cookie crumble because it is pumpkin season. I got my little Halloween sweater on, let's do this. And you know Trisha, she is extra. She will always be extra and she likes extra things. And can I also do like a white chocolate in there somewhere? But you know, Trisha does all these food hauls or food reviews. Hopefully she's just gonna get a small. Okay, sorry coffee uh, freaks. Hopefully she's getting a short or a demi. Uh, yeah, just the, no, you know what? Can I do a venti? Sorry. Okay, thank you. Never mind. A venti pumpkin cookie crumble is 590 calories and 55 grams of sugar. But you know what? Trisha did great because that that's not the sugariest product on the Starbucks list. The Vinci Pumpkin Cookie Crumble got fourth place. In third place is the Grande Caramel Frappuccino. In second place is the Matcha Creme Frappuccino, which contains 79 grams of sugar. And first place, with the highest amount of sugar, is the Vinci Hot Mold Fruit, which contains 99 grams of sugar, but not sold in the United States. I got you there for a second. Oh, you were on your way to Starbucks. Goodness, you guys, we're deep into the video. And you were still going to go purchase this drink why? Just to feel how it feels like to have 99 grams of sugar in your body at one time. Molly Pitts gave me the sh very weird, but you know what? Very American. Good job, you're a true patriot. So you can't get that one, but there is a concoction that has been created that trumps the sugariest drink at Starbucks, and that's Dunkin' Donuts Pumpkin Swirl Frozen Coffee. And y'all, it's fall, it's back right now, and it's the most sugar-filled drink I could find, and it's not even that pretty. It looks like the most basic drink. If I'm gonna have something with this amount of sugar in it, I need it to just be the most glorious thing I've ever seen. Not something that looks like a basic cold brew, whatever a cold brew is. I don't drink coffee. But this Dunkin' Donut drink is the most colossal giant of sugar that I have ever heard of. The Pumpkin Swirl Frozen Coffee drink is 890 calories with 185 grams of sugar, which is the same amount of sugar in 14 glazed Dunkin' Donuts. Who the f thought it was a good idea to put this on the menu? Dunkin' Donuts heard of the obesity problem. They said, oh yeah, we can definitely add to that. Mm. These are flying off the shelves or whatever things that are in Dunkin' Donuts. Flavored and it is so good. This might be my new go-to order. Pumpkin girlies, just get a donut. How are you guys not being bloated? I eat a Dunkin' Donut and my stomach will blow up and then I'll start to film and you guys will ask me if I'm pregnant. I know this because I've done that before. And then there's people in the comment section telling me congratulations on the new 
baby bump. Tell me you're new to the channel without telling me you're new to the channel. Somebody fill them in. Anyway, if you are someone that says, I have no clue why I can't lose weight. I just don't know why I lay in bed. And pray to the gods that buckets of sugar will just fall into my mouth. I'm so hungry all the time. Dieting never works. Especially if you are a person of a size. And you are part of this liquid sugar crew. You might want to consider that the issue is in that cup. And all that sugar that you're putting in it. Trisha! I like Trisha. I want her to be less sugar filled. Because I know she talks about how her body is uncomfortable. Or she wants to be slimmer. God, yeah. I'm really fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm so fat right now. And she's always, not always, I don't watch her podcast, but there's little clips that I see and she al she's always talking about, oh, I, you know, I, I wish I could be that skinny while she eats a whole box of crumble cookie. I swear, girl, if you just reduce the liquid calories, that would probably be a huge difference. I've seen it in clients that finally listen to me. I don't know what it is about you liquid calorie people, but I have to pull out so many teeth to get you guys to just drink some water. Anyway, now you know when I do these videos, I don't like to scream, Trisha! And then poop on people who eat about 200 grams of sugar in a drink for breakfast. I like to do that and then follow it up with, let's try to make it at home, which means you know what time it is. Oh yeah, kitchen time with Michelle. Let's go. Okay, first of all, before anyone says anything, I'm leaning down like this, not to show off Tia and Tamara, but because I'm very lazy when it comes to my camera. I don't want to move it up and down so that you can see what I'm doing. If I don't do that, then it would just be like this. Today we're gonna look at someone called Smaller Sam PCOS. It fits perfectly. A lot of us deal with PCOS on this channel and she used to be really large and she lost 200 pounds naturally and now, just like in my crumble video with the Marquise guy, she also finds ways to make yummy foods, but still lower in calories. And today she made a pumpkin spice protein coffee. Let's make the first pumpkin spice of the season. It's 13 grams of protein and only about 100 calories. I have no idea why her arms are wrapped up like that, but I'm going to guess it wasn't the coffee's fault. It's giving mummy vibes though, and I am all for it. And that's perfect for the Halloween season coming up. Let's start. So you know how the running theme in all of the videos that we saw today were they just dump everything in their coffee. Um, and the other theme was that there's creamer. There's no creamer in this one and she actually measures everything out. And if you can see, she has lost weight. Other people, well, they're still doing the same thing. So we don't need to focus on that. So let me just put this all together and we can give it a little taste. Got my trusty scale that I use every single day. I'm telling you, it really helps and makes you more aware of what you're putting into your body. It's not Walmart for like $20. Just try it or Amazon if you don't like to leave your house. Okay, so problem. I've never made coffee in my life. So you guys are coming along for the ride, you guys. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put this in a little machine. But you can make it on the stove too. Rigby, what are you doing? You can't have coffee. <laughs> Rigby, you can't drink the coffee. Get out of there. And look who it is, it's Yoshi. For the people who always ask, where is she? If the queen is sleeping, we do not mess with her. You guys, girly is deaf, half blind, had cancer, and doing great. She is refusing to die. Not because she loves me, but because she really loves food. And that's the only reason she ever gets up, as you can see. Once she usually figures out there's no food for her, she goes back into the darkness. Garrett thinks that the hot coffee's gonna crack the glass, so I guess. We will see. We don't drink coffee in this house, so we don't know what's going on. But we have our coffee in a pot, and I have to say, it smells like my grandma. Let's see if it cracks. Well, that was anticlimactic. I feel so awkward just being kind of like, Right at the end of the video. If you're in it this far, you're in it to finish it. So now just, I guess I just dump a bunch of ice in it. Or should I get another thing and then pour this over the ice? Does it matter? Yeah. Do that? Well, that'll look better. It'll look better, yeah. Get the witch blade. 
No, it has to be see-through. I think they want to see it. It's a mug thing. I can't have coffee in a mug. Why not? You're going to have a mason jar with the whipped cream? That's going to be awkward. It's already awkward. He wants me to put it in this. You can see it better. Coffee people, I don't want to hear about ice size. I swear to God, I don't know if that's a thing, but it just popped into my head that you guys are probably really weird about that kind of stuff. This is what we got, okay? No complaining. Oh, look at it. He knows! You little chunky monkey! Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Jump! I know my butt cheeks made this wrong. I know you coffee people are having a fit, but we're gonna try it. Saw that, I was like looking it down. It's pretty good. It's not something that I have to have. I definitely like the whipped cream. I'm not a coffee person, but I can see why people would like it. Like if you do like coffee and you're looking for something that's not around 800 calories and 190 grams of sugar, this would be a great alternative. I would definitely suggest this. I'm not sure how she got 100 calories. Mine's less than hers because I didn't put the pumpkin cream thing that she put in. I didn't want that part. And I'm saying I didn't want that part is because Garrett forgot to get it. And so we have to deal with what we have to do. But this, I think you guys should try to make healthier recipes. As a non-coffee person, you probably don't care about my opinion. But as someone that do does like dupes and had that healthy crumble cookie from last week, this is so much better. I would choose this over the crumble cookie. But would I have it for dessert? No, because it's coffee. You wanna try it, Garrett? Jug, 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 jug. Tastes like coffee. What a, a genuine <laughs> Garrett review. Good job. Okay, get off the stage. Go. Nope, oh, you're done. If you like the flow of this video, check out my second channel where I post low edit commentary, rants, and vlogs. And I recently posted a new Halloween themed Disney Eats vlog video that's linked below, showing how I can still have fun at Disney, try the foods, but also not overdo it. Well, you guys, I hope this video helped anyone out there saying, I don't really eat that much. Probably because you don't eat that much. You drink in it. I just need you to look in your hand and are you holding a drink? Are you adding sugar? Are you adding oils to your food? Are you over consuming alcohol on the weekend? Because I'll do it. I'm gonna need you to look in the mirror and scream, it was my fault all along. And I'm no longer delusional because of that curly haired five foot two little goblin girl on the screen. Okay, you can say, you don't have to say thank you, but I do want you to do it. I do want you to go to that mirror and say that to yourself. It will feel amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming today. If you enjoyed this, check out my deep dive on crumble. Now that's where my problem will lie. Liquid calories? You think I'm gonna waste my calories on some liquid? I want a delicious baked to perfection cookie. Or if we're talking about crumble, lightly baked on the outside and not so baked on the inside. Links below, come here, give me your and I will see all of you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Why am I still fat? You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood.